My breast implants are making me sick. <laughs> Come here, baby. Well, I will keep this video short, but since I share my life on the internet with you all, I wanted to make this a separate dedicated video. I don't know how to say this. My breast implants are making me sick and I kind of wish now that I'm older I kind of wish I hadn't have gotten them but here we are I got my breast implants probably about 10 to 12 years ago um, I was really not I really didn't have the best self-esteem at the time I had recently been divorced from a narcissist and anyone that's been in a relationship with someone that is a narcissist you know as well as I know that they are just the meanest people and they don't care about anybody else but themselves and especially when you're going through a divorce they are absolute the crudest and meanest per people that they can be and my ex-husband really put me through the ringer for years after our divorce because we share children he had access to me and he utilized that to torment me for a good five to eight years after our divorce it was horrific when I look back now that I'm older and I'm out of that and we don't communicate. Um, our kids are grown now. I'm 21 and 19 going on 20 and I don't know I was just in the phase where I wasn't feeling like I wasn't my best self and I felt like getting the breast implants would help me just like get over that hump of like feeling down and give me that confidence that I was hoping that I that I absolutely desperately needed at that time and I enjoyed having my breast implants because I've always had like I've always been more of a hippier girl so I have like a bigger hips but I always had small boobs and I could not fit into like certain dresses and the trends when I was you know in my late teens early 20s and I always you know saw girls getting breast implants and thought that's what I needed to do they're gonna give me confidence I'm gonna be able to fit all these outfits and to be honest because I am a little bit curvier they only like exasperated my issues with my confidence and my self-esteem because I was not ever approached by men in a way that I would want to be approached. It was always men that were catcalling me. They were, you know, sexualizing me. And it's been a really tough 10 to 12 years of trying to learn who I am post-divorce being a single mom now I have breast implants and I feel like I'm now that I'm in my 40s I'm 41 I'll be 42 in April now that I'm in my 40s I feel like I'm in my best self like I'm mo my most confident self I have the best self-esteem that I have ever had and or like the highest self-esteem that I've ever had I know my worth I work really hard for everything that I have and I've learned a lot really since COVID times when we went into lockdown it really gave me a lot of time to self-reflect and it really gave me the time that I needed to work on myself and just like cry my eyes out during the work day or whatever because I was at home you know like I cried so much during COVID times because I was just shedding 
my old self and becoming this new woman. And, you know, I feel like I'm at a place in my life where if I lost the breast implants, I think I would be okay. But there's just so much femininity wrapped up in having a certain figure and shape and they've been a part of me for so long but quite honestly I think they're making me sick and the reason I say that is because this breast implant right here on my left side is a really hard and it's and I'm having a lot of numbness in like my arm and my hand over here and I think it's because my breast implant I don't know for certain I honestly don't even have the money to go and get this checked out so hopefully soon hopefully in the next year I'll be able to get this checked out and like maybe get them removed um maybe get them replaced I don't really know how I'm feeling right now this is just something I've been dealing with for the last month or so that I'm really starting to notice that this breast plant is so hard and I'll have days where this isn't really numb but then I'll have days where it's absolutely so numb it's like in pain like it's kind of numb today and then other days no numbness and I'm fine I just feel like I'm just in my best like I just want to be living my best life and it's so hard going through this knowing that I don't have the money to fix it I don't know what I'm gonna do but I wanted to share this with you guys because I share my life with you and A, I want someone that's thinking about breast implants, you know, thinking about getting breast implants. If they're thinking about it, like know that there's a lot of risks and if you don't have the money to fix your breast implants later down the road, 10 years, 12 years, 5 years down the road, like you're you shouldn't get them and I shouldn't have gotten them. Um, I should have, if I had gotten them, I should have set up like an emergency fund that I would have a certain amount set aside, not touch it in case I went through something like this because I wish I could get my breast implants out today. I would. Um, I don't know what the future looks like for me and my breast, but I don't know, I just wanted to share this story. So if you're thinking about getting breast implants um, or you have breast implants and you're having problems, I think it's best that you think about getting them or you go and see a doctor if you're having issues. And hopefully I'll be in a position financially within the next year that I will be able to go and get them checked out and removed hopefully. And Honestly, I mean, it is what it is. There's nothing else I can do, but I am so happy that I have this community here and I can share with you all and be brave. I really didn't want to share this, but, and I was really scared to share this because I didn't want people to say, well, you shouldn't have gotten them or, you know, you're so dumb, you got breast implants. And I didn't want men sexualizing me in my comments because I've always been sexualized ever since I got them. And it's, it's really hard. It doesn't matter what I wear or how I dress. And I've started like over the last 10 years of having them. I used to wear like really cute dresses, like everything was covered up, but like a nice cute wrap dress to work. And I got so many like looks and comments. So I really started dressing like oversized because I just didn't want to be sexualized anymore. I was so tired of it. So getting breast implants isn't all glitz and glam and it's not all that great. I do like that it, you know, proportions my body. Um, and I don't really know what the future looks like. I don't know if I'll get them removed and replaced or get them removed. I don't know. But I want to share with you guys and I hope that this helps somebody else that's thinking about getting them. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.